In this short video, we're going to define convex and concave lenses, what each shape of lens looks like, and we will also define focal length for each type of lens. As light passes through any type of lens, it's going to refract according to Snell's law, as light passes between air and a material with a different index of refraction. Depending on the shape of the lens, this could cause light rays to converge, or it could cause light rays to diverge. This bending is of course described by Snell's law. If we zoom in on the top part of this lens, we see that as the light ray passes from air into the higher index of refraction of glass, it bends towards the normal line. As it goes from glass back out into air, it bends away from the normal line. Collectively, this bending causes light rays to converge for this type of lens and to diverge for this shape of lens. This lens that bows outward in the middle is called a convex lens. If it bows inward, it is called concave. The way I was taught to remember this uh, the first time I learned about lenses is that a concave lens bows inward. You could run inside here and hide inside as if it were a cave. That is always how I have remembered the lens types. This point where parallel incident light rays come together and meet for the convex lens is called the focal point, and we label that F in a diagram. For a concave lens, the light rays all diverge, but every time light rays diverge, whether it's a mirror or a lens, no matter what shape of mirror or lens, any time light rays diverge, what we do is we trace them backwards and look for where those light rays seem to have originated. That's how we define the focal point for a concave lens. 